five things that make the narcissist return to you. Sometimes the narcissist will return to you. They will hoover you. They will come back. Especially if one or more of these things are happening. One. If you are still susceptible to their manipulation. If you are still susceptible to the narcissist manipulation, they will return to you. If you still have hope. If you have a feeling of expectation or desire for a particular thing to happen. If you still trust them. If you still believe that things will change or improve. They will sense this. They will sense that you are still attached to them. And this will make them want to return to you. They will return to you because they know that you still believe in them. They know that you would be willing to give them another chance. If the narcissist knows that you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation, they're not going to return to you. They're not going to put themselves in a position where they could be rejected, where they could be humiliated. The narcissist wants to be around people who believe in their lies and false promises. People who believe in their future faking. They don't want to be around people who don't believe in them. It's your belief that gives them the power to take advantage of you. They can't manipulate you if you don't believe in anything they're saying or doing. Which is why they will only come back if you still believe. If you're still susceptible to their manipulation. Two. Money, sex, and other benefits. The narcissist will only come back if they believe that you're still susceptible to their manipulation. And even if they do come back, it's not because they miss you. It's not because they love or care about you. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about their own needs. And if they believe that you can fulfill those needs, they will return to you. Especially if you have recently received a lot of money. That will normally trigger a hoover from the narcissist. Narcissists love money. So they will definitely come back to try and get something out of you. They will also come back for sex or whatever else you have to offer. They may have been having sex with someone else while they were gone. But after a while, they get bored of doing it with the same person. It's too familiar and predictable. And if they haven't seen you for a while, that will be another reason why they will come back. But even then, it's not because they miss having sex with you. They don't even see you as a real person. You're just an object to them. You're just a tool that they use to pleasure themselves. 
And that's why it's so easy for them to leave you. That's why it's so easy for them to forget about you. Like you never existed. Because you're just an object. You're replaceable. And once they've used you for the purpose that they've assigned you to, you're discardable. You have no use to them after they've got what they wanted from you. Free. When you find someone else. When you find someone else, the narcissist will often return to you. Not because they want to be with you, but because they're jealous and insecure. They can't stand to see you being with someone else. But once they know that you're with someone else, they no longer look at you in the same way. They no longer see you as their property, as their primary source of supply. Now they feel as though they're trying to take you from someone else, which means that they might treat you differently. They're no longer going to treat you as if you were their property. Now they're just going to be more open about using you for whatever purpose they have assigned to you. Because narcissists really don't respect relationships. They just see it as though someone else is using you and taking advantage of you. They're not going to take you as seriously as they once did. They're not going to be as attached to the outcome. But if they can take advantage of any arguments or disagreements you're having with your new partner, they will. This is when the narcissist will return and act as a hero. Someone to save you from any arguments you might be having. Even things that may be a normal part of a relationship. Things that naturally occur. The narcissist will blow it up. They will act like they're mistreating you. In an attempt to win you back. Four. When you break up with someone. If you break up with someone. This is something the narcissist will take advantage of. Especially if they are the cause of the breakup. Because you're likely to be in a vulnerable place. So it will be much easier for them to exploit you. For them to get what they want from you. Narcissists love to leech off people who are in a vulnerable place. It's easy pickings. They don't really like people who are strong and have firm boundaries. Because that would be a hindrance to what they're trying to accomplish. So they will be lurking somewhere. Waiting for you to break up. They see it as an opportunity for them to get in. But acting as though they're trying to help or support you. Acting as though they have your best interests in mind. When really they're just there to use you. They're just there to take advantage of you while you're still hurt. While you're still vulnerable. Because they know at that moment. You would be willing to trust anyone. You would be willing to give them another chance. But they will only show you why trusting them is a big mistake. Five, 
when the narcissist gets bored of their new source. When the narcissist gets bored of their new source, they will either look for another source or hoover old sources. So there is a chance that they might come back to you, especially if you were grade A supply. If you gave the narcissist whatever they wanted without resistance, delay or obstruction, of course they're going to come back to you because that's exactly what a narcissist looks for when they target a new source. But rather than putting in the extra effort to groom someone new, if you're already preconditioned to be what they want you to be, they will return to you. The grass is always greener on the other side. They always see their current situation as less desirable. So if they're with someone else, it's only a matter of time until they see the grass being greener without you, with you. It's likely that the new source may have confronted them on the behavior already. Maybe the narcissist has begun devaluing them. So they will be looking for someone to replace them. When the narcissist gets bored of their new source, that is when they are likely to return to you. But this really depends on how susceptible their new source is to their manipulation. If the new source is a doormat and does whatever the narcissist wants them to do, then the narcissist is unlikely to leave anytime soon. The narcissist needs a fool. They need someone that they can trick and deceive. Someone to believe in them. And if the new source is foolish enough to believe in them, then why would they ever leave? Just don't let yourself become that fool. By giving the narcissist another chance. Be wise. Learn from your experience, knowledge and good judgment. Learn from the mistakes that the new source has made. So that you can make healthier decisions. And live a better life without the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.